station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm going to have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I going to pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Well, wish me luck. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Beat the pack alpha. <clears throat> Do you want to mince so your breath is gross? All valuable advice, thank you very much. Look them in the eye and say, I... I'm Jack Smith. Bring home the bacon. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper, you agree? It's all about the one-on-one, -on -one, man on man. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual, someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. And what big shoes they are. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. I bored to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? L Liverpool? Top lad. Well, you'll never walk alone around here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say? Don't shit on your own doorstep. It's a mantra I hold dearly. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Get in! Hey, Dad! How's the interview? Aced it! I start tomorrow. Woo woo! Pizza on Dad! Who's up for some celebratory takeaway? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. What's that with Jack? Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Yes, I'm late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Maybe I can say I have two dads. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa beds. Actually, 
Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the same. That way I can watch TV all the time. Forgot something? Don't think so. Phone! I'll ring it. Okay. Easy does it. What's she doing? Morning. I just needed my phone. <sighs> Brace ya. Dad! Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. All right. So I got a strange note through my door from someone called the Vape Lord? Is that you? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? How do you know about that? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Good show, that. A bit too many ads, but... Who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Who's Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. A curse? He did this? Where is he? Switch us back! Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. It's such a shame he left so soon. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. Well, to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, and that'd be the end of it. Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! If you really want to see him, I guess I've got no choice. This is going to break the bank. All right, listen, I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Don't make a habit of being late like this. Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. So how are you finding mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clive might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Yeah, I saw him the other day, actually. He, he seemed chipper. Better than ever. Maybe. Well, get a move on, Mr Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. I 
I'd better get inside. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime? You know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? I mean, as friends. I could bring John along if you want. Nah, you're good. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about how we can... Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Ha-ha! <laughs> have you been sharing doctored photos of me? Yeah, I got them. And classics, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them any time soon. I figured they'd want to be in another joke too. You sly goose. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? Whatever it is. It made me laugh. A classic, you could say. Piss. Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Hey, Shaz. Hey. I'm heading home. Walk to the station. That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. I feel it's the sort of thing John always wanted to do, but couldn't. He's got it in him. He just likes to play it careful. I'll take care now. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Tell John that I miss him, OK? Why don't you like us anymore, Jack? I thought we were friends. Dad, Jack's leaving us. Yeah, all right, Molly. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. He's moving up north. I applied for a uni course in Hull. Computer science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. Hold up there. No, you haven't thought this through. You, you can't just leave. On paper, you're Molly's dad. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. You can't let me. There's more to me than these four walls. We love you, Jack. Please don't leave us. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever going to be the same again. You realise I've got a mum and dad, right? I've got mates. I, I need to figure out how to explain this to them. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the Vape Lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You've got to be a young man again, but I've lost out on 20 years. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? 
He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. I have never met anyone so unwilling to face the music. When you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. <laughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. Are you all right? Something's wrong. <laughs>